Hey crafter friends, it's Sherry. Uh, I have a little video to show you how to make candy corn from the Dollar Tree safety cones. They come in a pack of two and uh, one of them has a label on it so I just pitch it to the side and I just use the one that doesn't have the label. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the other ones yet because it's hard to get off so I'm not going to fool with that right now. But anyway, this is sort of finished. I drilled a hole in the top because I'm thinking about putting a, um, I don't know, some kind of maybe jute string and a, and a distressed tag, uh, maybe something that says yucky candy or something along those lines. But anyway, um, I just wanted to kind of give you an idea of, of how this is done. I base coated with Good Bones chalk paint. Really love this paint. Um, uh, you Google Good Bones paint and you'll find it or just use any orange chalk paint that you can find. I think uh, Walmart carries the Waverly still. You can get it online. Um, and this is what Waverly looks like except this is not orange. <laughs> and I'm using for um, the yellow, I'm using the primary yellow from DecoArt and I've just got some folk art white wicker paint and then my floating will be dark chocolate, also from DecoArt. So those are the paints I'm using. And the sealer is polycrylic water base. So what I do, I made a tool, because you know all crafters make their own tools. I got this, um, it, it's a tube from some packing material, but I'm sure you can find any anything to use as a guide. And I put it right down on top of the cone. And because I float in brown, I take a brown Sharpie and just make dots all around. And then I have this little stick that I put at the base of the candy corn. And I make dots around for the yellow paint guide. So that's my little tool. So the first thing you want to do, and I get these from Dollar Tree, they're just handheld uh, sanding blocks. And you want to sand off the shine. You can kind of tell the difference in the sheen, I hope. Just give it a little sand to take some of that shine off. Then you want to put a coat of the chalk paint all over, the orange chalk paint. And I like to use a sponge because it gives it kind of a, a dimpled effect like you'd see on an orange. So just all over, let it dry. Then put a coat of poly acrylic. And I, I used... Um, the sponge to put the poly acrylic on. To, no, no, I didn't. I'm sorry. Only the paint. Don't use the sponge for the poly acrylic because you don't want air bubbles in it. So just brush it on, let it dry, let this dry overnight. Then I come in with my white, my, of course, my little guide, and then white sponged on and sponged on the yellow down here. So at this point, you're going to see that it's shiny and dull because I didn't put any more paint on this after the polycrylic. Once we get the project completely done, then we'll polyacrylic the whole thing and all of it will be that same shine. So sand it, put on your orange paint, polyacrylic over that, let it sit overnight, put your guide on, put your paint on with a sponge, and now what we're going to do is shade. Now, I've been sitting here for a minute, so my paint is probably getting a little blobby. A little spritz. So when you're shading, you always want water somewhere. So you can pick up a little bit of water. I've got a towel in my lap. We're just dipping the toe in paint. Now, we'll just float this color around. And if you're 
I'm using a three quarter inch shader. If your float is too wide, just clean it out and start over. I may have to just, let me just start with a fresh Start with some fresh paint. So a chocolate brown. About out of this. There we go. Much cleaner. So now, yeah, much better, much better. Nice cleaner line against that orange between the white and the orange. There we go. Turn all the way around. Flip it over. And do the yellow. So I hope you can see this okay. I'm sorry if I went off camera. We're going for that primitive look on this one. Just old primitive, yucky candy corn. Do you guys like candy corn? I like painting it. I just don't like eating it. Let me know your comments, your thoughts in the comments. Okay, let's do the orange. We're just coming right up to that line we just made. Now this is going to go on a little slicker because that polycrylic is on that orange still, but that's okay. Just walk it around. Slop it around. Picking up paint as I go. I get all the way back to where I started. Now let's do under the white. Now, let's go pick up some water, dab it on my lap, my lap towel, and I'm going to go around the bottom of this yellow with this chocolate brown float. Or dark chocolate float, I'm sorry. I use both. <clears throat> You could use any brown float you want. Keeping your brush wet on the heel and paint on the toe. The toe being the longest part of that angle. And then you get a nice glide of paint that fades. Okay, now 
if you'll notice, <clears throat> was really sloppy with the paint down here when I did the yellow. And there's orange paint down there too, but it's hard to tell because it's the same color. So I'm gonna go around the bottom base with the brown and just hit it all over. We're going for that dirty look. At this point, you could throw some cinnamon on that wet paint or wait till you do the polyacrylic, polyacrylic sealer and when it's wet down there, do some cinnamon or yard dirt to grunge it up even more. I think I'm gonna keep this simple and just do the, the brown paint. I'm not adding any water to this, just kind of muddying it up down here a little bit. add some other colors down there too. Some more orange and I don't know that I throw white down there. I think I stick with my orange, browns, and yellows down here on the bottom. Going for a grungy look. There we go. Yeah. Okay. So what I've done with this one now this one's pretty much done with the float. What I've done with this one is I've drilled a hole in the top. So I might come in with like a, a hang tag, a grungy jute string tag that says yucky candy or gross candy or caution, something along that lines that draws the candy in with the actual caution cone. So at this point, I've got a bunch of these to finish up. I'm gonna go ahead and shade all the rest of these. And then after the shading's done, we let it dry real good and then polycrylic the whole thing, including down here. You can use gloss or whatever you want, whatever poly acrylic, poly acrylic sealer that you wanna use. I strongly suggest water base. If you're gonna put these outside, you could do a solvent, but you wanna paint that outside because solvent is very, very stinky. So I don't know, I might put faces on these or just leave them like they are with a grungy tag. Let me know what y'all think. Thanks for watching.